Hello! <laughs> it's Monday and it's 8 o'clock in the UK and I am back again! So give me a wave if you're here! So happy you're joining! We've got a little bit of a treat today. We're doing something super delicious. We are doing a chocolate mousse with Bettina today. Bettina, are you there? Give me a little invite. Yeah, here she comes. All right. Introduce the delicious chocolate mousse we're doing today. Oh, dearie me, I'm never that this good. Right here, press a bit harder. Yes! Woohoo! Hi! <laughs> Hello! Thank you so much for joining me for this fundraiser for Women's A. Um, this is now my fourth or fifth one now, so hopefully um, I'm getting into the routine of things. But you're my first dessert, so yeah. Whoa! Yeah, exactly. And it's not just any old dessert. What dessert are you making today? Or what are we making today? Oh, um, we're making chocolate and orange uh, and amaretto mousse. I did. <laughs> I, I was like, what's in there? <laughs> it's such a good flavour combination. Chocolate, orange and am amaretto. I don't think you can go wrong with that. And what I love about it is it can all be done in under 16 minutes. Well, that's the goal. Hello, everybody. I'm just like, um, everybody saying hello. So we're going to get start cracking. We're going to get going in a minute. Um, before I get going or we get going, I'm just going to um, remind everyone, if you have the possibility, please donate through my profile to Women's Aid. They are doing amazing work um, helping uh, women and children in domestic abuse situations. So if you can, please, or share the video or like it or comment or say hello. That is amazing. Right. Shall we get going? I'm going to put the timer on. Are you ready, Bettina? I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I've got a timer on. That I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> oh my gosh, no pressure. <laughs> okay, so, right, what are we going to start off with? Right, we're going to start off with the orange slices that we've okay. pre prepared. And we are going to fry those off and just caramelize them uh, okay. with. Some coconut oil in your pan. So I've got some coconut oil. Well, you can't see it because it's translucent. So I've got that and I've heated it up so it's quite hot. I'm just going to put the slices yeah. in. Okay? Great. And then we're going to just pop the oranges in. Yes. We get a little bit of a sizzle. I'm not sure if people can hear the sizzling at home, but it's all happening. Sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think the trick here is to have a big frying pan. This helps, yes. doesn't it? Otherwise Absolutely. You can crowd. Okay, so I've got my orange slices in. Got the orange slices in. What we can do is we can add a little bit of vanilla and yeah. let that sort of marinate and just scent the oranges. Yeah, in a little thing. You can use, you can just so use I, it. Half vanilla. I used um, half of Yeah, vanilla. amazing. And, that, and actually, when you scrape it out, don't throw, throw away the pod because you could stick it in a jar of sugar. Yes, or that's a green rum. You know, yeah. You can make vanilla <laughs> sugar or vanilla rum, whatever you fancy. So, yes. Absolutely. Don't waste them. Don't, uh, don't break them in. So yeah, all right, we've got some nice sizzling going on here. Oh, it's um, amazing. You, yes, they smell good, don't they? So what you can do is, if you've yeah. got a little bit of colour yeah. on the uh, one side, you can just turn them. Turn them over. I haven't... Turn them over. I think uh, here in Sweden, things take a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, so mine, mine are quite... Let me see if I can show you. So we've got some colour on them. And what I'll do is I'm going to turn the hob off and I'm going yeah. to just let them cook on sort of the after heat. Okay. I don't like, I haven't got mine quite, quite hot enough. I'm going to turn up the heat. No colour yet. So my hob's not as... Oh, I'm going to see if I can... I'm just going to try and wipe the camera. Let's see if that <laughs> helps with res the resolution. Oh, well, don't know if that helps. That's a little bit better. 
okay. I'm going to just let mine cook away a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to turn off the heat and let it cook. I'm getting a bit of aromatherapy here. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Who doesn't like vanilla and orange? <laughs> I know. So we're caramelizing the oranges here for anybody who's just joined. We've got some oranges, a bit of coconut oil to caramelize it in, and some vanilla. So that's really good flavors together. And actually, if you were short of time, well, this is a really short recipe, but this would be really nice with ice cream. Yes. Oh my gosh, it'd go well with anything. Or you can yeah. do a big batch and you can keep it in the fridge and top your porridge. Yes, actually, oh, it's as because well. well, it's cold at the moment. So yeah, so it's great for porridge. Okay, so we've, the oranges, set them aside. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, crack on with the mousse. And this is one okay. of those recipes. You put everything into a bowl. Yeah. And you mix it. So you've got your coconut cream. Okay. Oh, I've got to go get mine from the fridge. Hang on. Yeah. So basically, you can buy coconut cream now. However, if you don't have coconut cream, like you, you just put it into the fridge and then it becomes, it solidifies. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I put that in the fridge about an hour ago. And it's I mean, like, it looks like a solid disc. It's pre pretty cool. Um, I'm going to add um, the peanut um, or almond paste or... Yeah, so uh, any that goes in. that you've got, uh, yeah. it can be peanut butter, it can be almond butter. I've got, I've got some peanut butter here, so I'm going to add three, is it three tablespoons? Yeah, three, ta three tablespoons. So I'm just going to go that in, that goes in. So we're making the chocolate mousse base now, and then you've got the, the coconut cream that goes in. Oh, look at that. Woo! Lush. It gives that. I know. It gives the, flavor all my favorite things in one bowl basically then we've got uh cacao yep three tablespoons of cacao that goes in oh one okay two, three that goes in uh we've got some maple syrup yep that's kind of uh, for sweetness isn't it yeah two to three tablespoons Oh, if I can open up my bottle. <laughs> I I did my, like, in true TV style. I have oh, my gosh. <laughs> so if anybody's just joined, we are making a chocolate amaretto and orange mousse. And it's really easy. We've already caramelized some oranges with some coconut oil and vanilla. And now we're making the chocolate mousse. And if you didn't already guess, this recipe is completely plant-based. So I really yes. love this recipe because... If you're entertaining and you have a mixture of guests, it kind of ticks everybody's boxes. Also, it's gluten-free as well, isn't it? <laughs> it's also gluten-free. Yeah, it ticks quite a lot of boxes and it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the main thing. It's delicious. But, you know, so yeah, you, I, think... You're, I think a lot of people are always, if you're not uh, plant-based and you have to entertain for people who, you know, have different um kind of dietary uh, requirements it's, it can be quite daunting sometimes to know what to make so this is a great recipe to know oh absolutely and also yeah lots of people have dietary requirements especially around the holidays and this hopefully fingers crossed being the year that we can all be together <laughs> let's manifest it let's yes be positive <laughs> yes exactly um am i going to add some orange zest here Yes, you can do. Add some orange zest, and while you're at it, you could also add the amaretto. I guess in the recipe it's two tablespoons, but you know you can add a cheeky third if okay. you want to. I know. I'm a little sip for myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for yourself. Oh, oh. that goes in. That All goes right. In. Um, there and we go. Should third, I get my whisk out and whisk this all together? Yes, absolutely. And I guess, so, uh, you've just got to be careful so that you don't okay. get the cocoa all over the place. Okay, yeah. So that's why I pre-risked. So I, I'm going to just try not make a mess here. Let's see how this goes. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of noise there. Sorry about that uh, for you guys at home. <laughs> Whisk, whisk, whisk. Anybody's joining in, we are making a delicious chocolate orange and amaretto mousse. And uh, how are we doing for time? We have got seven minutes left, so I think we're, we're all right. I think 
Pardon? It's looking. We've only got we've got seven minutes left. Oh. I think we're doing okay. We're doing good. Yeah. I mean, the texture on this is amazing. I think it's right. good. Because I think the trick is with, with this is not to over whisk it, isn't it? Yes, don't over whisk it. And also what's going to happen is um, yeah. it's going to set in the fridge. So you can actually, this is a great one to pre-make. You can do it, you can even do it the day before. Ooh. Which gives more time for entertaining and being with family. Yes, if anybody wants to look, look how light and fluffy is that? And that literally whisked up in a couple of minutes. So, yeah. Wait, can I um, just eat a spoon now? I just want to eat it out the bowl. Yes, try it. <laughs> <laughs> so, for anybody who wants the recipe, um, it's in Bettina's cookbook, Celebrate. So, uh, yes, it was awesome. But otherwise, you just watch the video and I will post the ingredients because Bettina's kindly donated the recipe for, for Women's Aid. So, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, absolute pleasure. I think what you're doing is amazing. Right, so we layer up the dessert. Yes. So, I've got a little martini glass. Oh, you've got one of those um, champagne, champagne cups. A, a coupe. So if a anybody coupe. wants to, a coupe, uh, so apparently these are modelled on Marie Antoinette's uh, boobs. Ah, I knew there was something, <laughs> something like that there. <laughs> so French, isn't it? So French. Okay, so, um, well, that's what the legend goes. I don't know if it's really true, but it's a, it's a fun story, isn't it? You know? Yes, so, yeah. it's amazing. Okay, right, so I'm going to pop a few orange slices in. Yeah. I'm going to put mine in as well. Oopsie daisy. There we go. Yes. Oh, and the chocolate mousse is smelling amazing. Ooh. Really chocolatey. Yeah, I know. I really just want to eat it out the bowl. This is like um, when the camera's off, it's what I'm going to be doing, basically. Anybody else want to eat it out the bowl? <laughs> Give me a wave if you fancy eating it out the bowl right now. Oh, lots of heart. Lots of people want to eat it out the bowl. Um, oh, yes, well, I can see why. I can see why. Oh, my goodness. It's really fluffy and light. I, um, it's amazing how coconut cream can fluff up so easily. It's like a super, super easy just to whip up it's less whipping than uh with regular whipping cream <laughs> absolutely it's a, it's a great uh ingredient especially when it's paired with um you don't need a lot to to make it tasty right so i've like filled my glasses i'm gonna grate a bit of chocolate on top yes that's a great idea um you can also put like things like chopped nuts grated chocolate Ooh. like you're doing that's a good idea with some chopped nuts, actually, if I had some. I did something um, the other day, you know, uh, like an old-fashioned, when you yeah. shave off the orange, that's quite pretty as well, too. Ooh, you get little garnish and something like yeah, that. Extra, I mean, you can... Extra fancy. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go over the top, so like you can do. I'm just getting chocolate all over the place. I'm going to have to... Gonna... It's always a big clean-up after these in, uh, cook-offs. So, yeah. <laughs> Right, you know what, this looks, I've just done a little bit, but I'm going to show people at home just how delicious this is. Just, just grabbing a spoon. Looking great, look at that. Right, wow. Look at that. You've got Love it. Over there. Amazing. I'm just going to show you a little uh, spoon. Yeah. Ooh. And actually, I'm, I'm just going to have to taste to, to yes, sure. you, I think you should. Everybody at home, <laughs> do you think it's going to taste good or not? Mm. Oh my, that that amaretto! Oh wow! What? I, somebody like asked if you're not into amaretto or you don't want to use alcohol. It, do you have any other suggestions, or could you just leave? You it don't out? need to. Use, you don't need to use alcohol at all. That's a complete like personal preference. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about it. Don't worry. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> leave it out. I was thinking you could even put a tiny drop of almond essence if you wanted to have a little bit of that, that almond flavour. Uh, or you, like you said, you could put the chopped nuts, so chopped almonds on top um, would be also very delicious. But this, oh my goodness, chocolate orange with the amaretto just takes it onto another level. And for anybody who's like a 
bit worried about coconut being uh, overpowering. It's really, I can hardly taste it actually. Yeah. So, it's oh, the top. Said, sorry, go ahead. What somebody said? Somebody said a uh, Grand Marnier. Also. Oh yes. yes, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, but I inter rudely interrupted you um, <laughs> when you when you were saying um, I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember <laughs> either. If you don't like if you don't like coconut uh, flavor, yeah. I guess yeah. The, the coconut flavor that comes through the most is when you um, make the make the orange when you fry off the oranges. Okay. So you can use odorless coconut oil actually. That's a great that's, idea. Yeah, because that's idea. the one that smells and tastes mostly of coconut. But I think the chocolate and the and the uh, and the amaretto sort of mask the coconut flavor of the of the actual uh, cream. Yes, you don't feel it. It's, it's definitely, you, and you get the lovely oranges, that bit of citrus. Very, very nice. And we are actually coming into orange season, so that's perfect. How long would you put it in the fridge for to set? What would you think uh, is a good time? A couple of hours. Yeah. And it depends on how cold your fridge is. But, I mean, yeah, a couple of hours to set. Overnight, if you want to make them, if you really, really be, want to be sort of uh sorted and not have to do anything on the day <laughs> just like before so i've just made them now and actually the texture is really nice but obviously you know if you want a firmer texture then you can pop it in the fridge but like my coconut cream like whipped up really lovely um dark chocolate i'm using 70 percent um i think you get more chocolatey flavor but if you want a milk chocolate garnish or white chocolate there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> Absolutely. And I think mine turned out slightly darker than yours. I think yeah. I went I went heavy on the cacao. cacao so yeah. yeah, completely up to you. No, awesome. Well, um, I'm going to say thank you very much. Thank you to the everybody who uh, tuned in. Um, if you have the opportunity to, please go donate to Women's Aid, or oh, there goes the timer, um, in my profile, or go follow them, or like, or comment on the video, because that really helps uh, support Women's Aid. And thank you so much, Bettina. These were delicious. I'm just going to go eat one now. So, yeah. Um, all right, take care. Thank you so much for having me, darling. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ha, <laughs>